Okay, so how many of you have ever made a video before? A couple of you have made it. Um, how many of you made a video to publish? To give to people? So a few of you have already got some good techniques and tips, tips and tricks. Okay, so some of this may be old news for you. Um, for those of you that you're like, oh God, I gotta make a two minute video. It's really not that hard, okay? So I'm gonna give you some of the tips and tricks on how to make it a lot easier for you. Uh, the, the first thing that you'll want to have is a script and an outline, okay? Before you get any equipment ready to go, you want to know exact product. These are the shots that I want to take or make. This is what I want to show. I'm going to show you a couple of videos here in just a minute of um, a couple that I have done. They're, they're very simple. They're not professional by any sense. It's not like I'm dragging around tons of equipment with me. Usually when I record a video for other people or businesses, um, I, these are some of the equipment that I use. So I keep it very simple. You guys might laugh about a selfie stick, but selfie sticks rock when it comes to videoing, especially if you're using your telephone. Okay, so I have this iPhone right here. Beautiful camera, takes beautiful footage. You do not need to check out another camera if you know that the cameras on your phone work really well. This eliminates jarring when you're moving, okay? And I'm gonna show you the differences in some of the videos so you can see that. I don't have a gimbal, would love to have one. I haven't purchased one yet. One of, that's up on the list with my drone. So um, that's one thing that you'll have. This right here, this tripod, yes. So it's, it literally will hold, like you can move it, but the phone never moves in it. Does that make sense? So you don't get any of that bounce, 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 bounce. They use it when they're like, you'll see professionals have those, they're riding on a car following somebody, but the car's doing this, but the camera's not moving. So you don't get that bouncy look, okay? And so that makes a huge difference right there. This right here is a great thing to have. Lighting is huge to have. So I brought this right here. This is the SBDCs equipment right in this area. This is theirs. This is their tripod. We actually have a DSLR similar to that that can be used. Um, lighting is very important when you are taking a video. If it's dark in the room and people are going to see it, it looks like you didn't take time to think about it. The most important thing when you're making the video is to have purpose with it when you're taking it. So this little piece right here, you're going to notice right here, I'll flip it around really quick how bright it is. And when you are recording somebody, you can change the brightness on that as well. You would have this set up right behind it, okay, when you're recording. So it'll go right through that hole. The lighting is important. You may have to have extra lighting in the back depending on where you're filming. If it's outside and it's sunny, you're probably going to be fine. But make sure you're not in the mode that you're squinting and that sort of thing when you're trying to get your message across to people. So you're free to use these if you'll come and check them out with me. I'll let you use those as well. The TTC, who's ever checked equipment out of the, at the TTC? Oh, this is a beautiful place. Sophia and I know about the TTC, right? Okay, it's in the basement of the library. They have all kinds of equipment that you can check out. So I actually have a set of wireless mics, okay? And we're gonna show you why you're gonna use a mic here in just a minute. Uh, they have cameras. They have tripods, they have all kinds of things that you need to check out. But before you do that, make sure you have your outline. Make sure you know, I want this shot, I want that shot, I want this. Because you only get it for three days. If you have no idea what you're doing, you could run out of time. In the time that you have the equipment and don't wait till the last minute either. Make sure you put this on. If you're going to be reading anything, how many of you guys trust yourself not to forget what you're gonna say? Oh, see, he's good. I instant go, it goes completely blank, gone, okay? So a teleprompter is a really smart thing to have. Um, how many of you guys have an iPad? Okay, so a lot of you do. Okay, I'm gonna show you this really quick in here. So I have two teleprompting equipment right here, and I'll just pull this one up, okay. So my daughter ran for an election and I'm going to show you a video we did for first so you can kind of see where it went well and where it didn't go well. 
Okay, so I'm going to even dip on my own video, okay? <laughs> but I'll tell you why it went bad, okay? When, and, and this place, that little girl was scared to death. It was her and I in this room videotaping her saying this, and I think she was about ready to pass out, okay? So I'm like, really? It's the camera. She was nervous. So don't think that you might not be comfortable with it, okay? have something there to back you up. I've actually taken some videos of people running in elections that are for the state of Utah, and they were amazed that when I held it right here, and it was videoing, they looked exactly like they were looking at the camera. You want to look like you're talking to your audience. If you're looking down while you're videoing, that is a bad idea. Don't do that, okay? You want to be addressing the audience. This is your chance. This is your elevator pitch. This is your Doritos commercial during the Super Bowl, okay? So this is your chance to make it big and to win some money, okay? Because everybody's going to post one of these. Everybody gets the chance to get that money. So I'm going to show you really quick some of the differences in, this is my equipment right here. And um, I can also bring this as well. I have a couple of different mics. If you're not moving around, I actually have a double lapel. So if you, this set is not a double lapel. If you are gonna have somebody in a video with you talking, you're gonna wanna have something like that because you're gonna, it's gonna sound really bad if one person sounds good and the other person sounds like there's an echo in the room, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna do a quick little test. I'm gonna turn this on. And I'm going to come to my video. And I'm going to have, and I'm just going to loosen this up so it'll turn a little bit easier for me. Everybody, I'm just going to kind of go around. Everybody tell me your name, okay? Titan. I'm Tyler. Kim. Ethan. Lance. Aiden. Kyle. Mark. Okay. So we're going to play that back so you can hear it. Let me get that going and so I can have the sound. I never have my sound on, sorry. Okay, so what do you hear wrong with that? Did you hear it? Okay. You can't hear them, right? Because it sounds like they're at a distance, okay? And it's picking up me moving the camera. Okay, because it's right here, okay? So we're gonna plug this in, and we're gonna do a video, a really quick video. In fact, I'll have it, and you guys are just gonna kind of pass it, well, maybe I'll just come around to you really quick, and we can go that way. Do you want me to start it, or do you want me to I will, um, I just need to get it turned on. Okay, and go back. Okay. You guys don't mind and you're okay. We'll just kind of go this way and I'll tell you when to say your name and just kind of just do a quick pass as fast as you can. See how fast we can go. I'll back up so I don't have to move my camera at all. Okay. Go ahead. Titan. Wait, hang on, Titan. Say it again. Titan. I'm Tyler. You know, you're going to notice that, that you don't have to be yelling in the in the camera here. Just hopefully, let's cross our fingers and make sure that it works. Watch that come back at me and not be right. Okay. Oh, can you hear that? I'm Tyler. It's like I'm right at your face getting your sound, okay? I'm Lance. Okay, so you can see why microphones are critical, okay? I don't care if... I am videotaping you and you're gonna be two feet from me, you're gonna still wear a microphone, okay? So there's plenty to check out the PTC. You're free to use the ones that we have here. These mic, um, these, these are great wireless mics, okay? So they're fantastic to use. So we're gonna show a couple of examples here really so quick. Go ahead. Christine, where where should they go? Who should they talk to if they want to check that out? Me. I'm the one that'll check it out to you, okay? 
So in the front office. Yep. In the business world. And if you want help with videoing and you're like, I don't have anybody that will videotape me, I just don't catch me at 3 o'clock on the Friday the 30th. I'm going to just tell you now. Okay? So if you can schedule time with me. I've actually brought some people in and videotape them, held the teleprompter up, did it several times. I'm the one that looked at it and said, no, nope, we look bad, and stopped before you all of a sudden went through this huge video thing, and now you're going to look back at it and go, I wish somebody would have stopped me two seconds into that and told me this wasn't working, and then changed up what you need. So it's kind of nice to have somebody with you. So a couple of things that I want you to look at. Okay, this is a video that came in, and I want you to tell me, watch this and tell me what you feel they maybe did well, or maybe what they didn't do so well, okay? Yes. A minute. I asked Hayden. with your camera like that, okay? So you can see how the gimbal would have been a really good idea here. Okay, so that's the one thing on here. Well, you can keep going until the guy starts talking. Okay, I have another one that has can you understand him? Enunciate your words. Huge. Make sure they're understanding what you're saying, okay? Am I proud of them for completing a video? Yes, but there was room for improvement, right? Things that they could have done better. Okay, so I want you to watch this one. Lighting and it's bird. Okay, 
you will videotape your landscape. Do not do it in portrait mode at all. It's so tacky to have this nice video and then all of a sudden we have all these clips of people that it wasn't done right, okay? Some of it was and some of it wasn't. Um, we were just glad to get it over with. When I did this video with her, my we filmed it in about, well, we asked people to do those pieces and send them in so we had to take what we could get, okay? When I videotaped it with her, we probably videoed for about an hour and it took me four hours to put it together. Only because it shut my computer, my computer shut down, I didn't save it, so I started all okay. So about two hours worth of editing, good editing to a point where we were ready to burn that and submit it, okay? This one right here is done all with a selfie stick too. This is a tradition that my kids' his dad um, does every year. They put thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in the fireworks and asked if I would come and videotape it, okay? And this was me walking backwards with a selfie stick. Can you tell, you couldn't tell I was walking, okay? So it makes a huge difference. Now there's this part in here where it was probably more at the beginning. My daughter took this little bit of footage right at the beginning and she was holding her phone and you're gonna notice the difference, okay? This one right here, can you tell? She's holding it in her hands, okay? That's the only piece I used from the stuff that she took because all of the stuff she took was all over the place, okay? Also, how many of you guys know how to run a drone? Okay, drones are amazing. There was a lot of this that was done as a drone. Okay, so this was, I mean, and it was super fun to have, okay? So I don't know what you're gonna put or do it. Don't dismiss the drone action, okay? To get you some good footage, okay?